Hey guys, so I'm back. This is the start of this uh, vlog for the first vlog for this month. It is um, January 4th, Monday. And um, as you can see, my voice is back pretty well. I do still cough occasionally, but you know, I'll cut those out. You won't have to worry about seeing that. Um, but so I'm super behind because I was sick for three weeks. Uh, and I really only had one saved video, which was the Titanic tag, which I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, but, uh, so I'm going to do some filming today. I'm going to film the unboxing of the December Scribbler box, because that's late. And then I'm also going to do, um, some other videos and then do some other work for, um, I... I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna do a goals video because everyone's doing it and I feel like that's nice. I'm gonna be late to the party, but it's okay. Um, I can edit and post right away. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna start streaming on Twitch, some game stuff. So I know I'm sprinkling some games on this channel and that will continue. It's gonna be more, uh, if you look at my banner, I kind of changed it and I kind of, of trying to brand myself as more of like just a storyteller. No, I, I'm not leaving author tube or joining like creator tube or anything like that. I'm just kind of branding myself as a storyteller and that is what I'm going to go with because I play a lot of games um, that are like games that you can add stories to. They can be a story. Um, you can create a story with your characters. So I'm going to be tying those things together between um, writing my original stories and then creating stories through games. Um, if you want other things, which will come eventually, it's going to take some time, but I'm also going to do other kind of gaming on my Twitch, like just nice, fun, mindless, like maybe first person shooter games, whether you're into that or not. Um, but there will be some content, Sims content on my Twitch. And there will be Minecraft content on my Twitch and some other things that I have that are very um, within that same vein that I'm working on. Plus just kind of exciting um, gaming stuff. So uh, I'm going to be working on that tonight too and setting some of that stuff up. Um, but yeah, so not actually too much writing. I, I want your opinion. If you guys think I should, when I'm doing more of like, I don't know, like a life vlog sort of, if I should still label it as a writing vlog or if I should label them as like life vlogs, uh, unless I put writing in them, um, or what do you think? So um, let me know in the comments down below. You think I should label it something different or just keep labeling it as writing vlogs? Because today I'm probably not going to do any writing, but tomorrow I'm going to be doing some writing. Um, not too much of my own personal writing, but writing for um, some surprise stuff. So uh, they'll be writing there. So there will be writing content in this vlog. It's just there's not any today. It's more of like um, more businessy setup youtube twitch stuff so um creator things there we go yeah that's what it is today's a creator day so let me know what you guys think because i do these vlogs for so long because they're two week vlogs um maybe it's not worth it to change the name and just keep it as a ready vlog so yeah i don't know okay i need to start filming things so all right i will catch back with you later Hey guys, so it's the next day. It is, where is my, January 5th. It's really, I woke up early today. I have um, a call to go on, so I had to wake up early. I'm still waking up and still drinking my Pepsi one. Um, So yesterday I didn't get as much work done as I wanted to, but I got what I was working on done. So I experimented with the Streamlabs OBS. I ended up having to look up a video because there wasn't any, unless I'm, I'm, I just couldn't find them. 
there wasn't any tutorials in the app after you download it um, on like how to do things. I was able to get my game up and it capture it. But then I was like, you can't see me. What's going on? So I had to look up a tutorial on YouTube and find out how to get me on top of the game uh, and the um, setup that I'm using, the free setup for now, that I'm using uh, up on there too. So that when I'm streaming, that's what you see. You see me and the banner and then the game. So that was a little bit of a ordeal, especially as the first video, because I was trying to find the most recent video, thinking that that is more likely to be uh, more accurate. The first video was just some guy honestly just promoting his stuff and his overlay that he um, made. And I was like, uh, so this other guy who his video was like six months old or something, and you can tell like it's been updated since then. That's the one that actually helped me. So that was awesome. Um, but that took a while because then um, the OBS, I guess I was asking for it to do too many things too quickly when I was like lost and it like was crashing. So, you know, that's fine. But it's able to record well. So I'm going to start using that to record when I play games for here. And I'll also have uh, my camera out when I play games for here, too. So <clears throat> that will be nice. Uh, and uh, today in the call, it's more of like a, um, like a private uh, like writing sprint kind of thing. But it's not just for writing. But I am going to be writing. I'm going to be doing... Um, some stuff for my website and writing uh, some of uh, my stories. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to work on on the call. And uh, then later today, I'm going to edit the two videos that I filmed yesterday. So that's what I'm going to work on. And then get uh, one posted right away, the unboxing, and then my goal video, get it scheduled to either post on Friday or on Thursday. I'm not sure which one it's going to be, but the uh, unboxing video, I'm gonna try and get it posted later today slash maybe early morning Wednesday, depending on when I'm done editing it. So, yep. Yeah. All right, that's the update for today. I will try to do another update, but you know, if you watch all my vlogs, you know at this point I'm not really good at I'll touch you back. Okay. See you later, guys. Bye. Hey. So it is a really late check in. Um, because I did some chore stuff. And then me and my husband fell asleep watching the news because it's January 6th. Um, so pretty much everyone should probably know what we were watching the news to attach to you. Um, I decided that I was done because nothing's going to change at this point besides the counts finalizing and if not, I'll get a notification. So I did not edit both videos because all of a sudden my computer started being weird and I only got to edit one and post one. I need to finish editing the second video. And um, try and figure out how to run this wrong. Yeah. And I need to set up my um, world um, that I'm going to be gaming on next week. <clears throat> my Sims world. So, yeah, got to do that. That's, that's on the agenda for today. The Sims world and and or the ROM hack might carry on till tomorrow. But tomorrow I also have a live stream. Hopefully more people show up this time around. I'm going to do it an hour later. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. I also have to take down my decorations probably tomorrow. 
because today is the epiphany. So today is when my family traditionally takes down all our decorations because the Christmas season ends for us. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Time to get some more done. All right. Bye. Hey, guys. So this is check-in for January 7th. I'm actually at my parents' house. You can tell it looks different. I'm doing some laundry here because we have a nice washer. Uh, I took some video really quick of the sunset because it was really nice today. So I'll pop that in here. I hope you like it. That's my picture, the the first very picture before I kind of altered it over time. That was taken here at my parents' house like a long time ago, and I just really like it. So um, today is the live stream at 11 p.m. my time, so I'll put in some footage there. Hopefully I'm not by myself this time. I'm watching Laura and Kevin's right now, and I'm going to be doing some outlining while I'm here at my parents' because it's the easiest, because I outline in a notebook first. <clears throat> then um, I'm going to go home, eat some lunch, probably watch my friend's Twitch, and then I'll jump onto my YouTube and do the live stream. I have to create the world for um, my older brother challenge, but in my live stream, I'm going to work on my on Project Elf. So, yep, that's going on right now. So, um, maybe I'll do outro. You know, I really am bad at that, but we'll see. And then we have next week, you know, because they're two week blocks again. So, all right. Um, gonna get back to Kevin and Moore. All right. Bye. Hey guys. So, it is Monday. I forgot what the actual day was. <laughs> Monday. Uh, January 11th. Uh, this is next intro into the vlog. I should have watched the last clip because I know what I was what I talked about. But um, from what I can remember what I did, I set up the world for the Twitch, Twitch stream, like some basic stuff, put in some lots that I usually put in all my Let's Plays. Um, I had a brain wave about putting in some more because I finally got my gallery to work. I realized that my firewall in my antivirus program had it blocked for some reason. <clears throat> and yeah, so, um, I got that to work. I did that. I pretty much did everything on my list, but the Pokemon... I couldn't figure out how to make it work. So this weekend while I was at work uh, on um, my lunch break, I looked up some videos on like tutorials on how to use the visual, what is it? Visual Boy Advance. And I found someone who had a really great tutorial. So I deleted everything and re-downloaded it. And I'm going, and I re-downloaded the Pokemon Soul Silver. Rom, and I'm gonna see if following his tutorial, if I can get it up and going, I might uh, play a little bit of it, like a test play, if I can have multiple entries. I might do like a really quick test play, and then um, then I'm gonna go back to The Sims, and I'm going to finish setting up the world with my brainwave of what I want to do. We may not visit everything that I'm going to set up in this, uh, words, save file, but I want to put it all. I, I, I want to, I think it will be fun. Uh, and then I also had another question for you guys. Uh, I'm going to hate myself later when I edit this and how many questions I'm going to have to keep track of. But not that I have a lot, but still. 
I had a brainwave. I was watching somebody play. Um, her name is oh shoot, she's playing on my phone and not on my computer. Um, <laughs> Sab Sim, I think it is, or Sim Sab. I'll I'll put her name down below on YouTube. And she's playing right now the Not So Berry Challenge. And I've watched a couple people play it, but I had a thought that I realized that most people play this game or this challenge that was created by Sims, Little Simsy and another um, Sim tuber that I don't know what her name is. I don't watch her. Um, I'll also put that one down below to credit them. But most people, including when Little Simsy was doing her run of it, um, that most people play with girls. Most airs are girls. And most air challenges are girl challenges, which is why I love the one that I'm going to be doing on Twitch this week, uh, that it's an older brother challenge. I love that it's an older brother challenge because it's male. Even though my younger sibling is going to be a girl. I think that challenge is awesome because most are, again, female. Uh, like the 100 baby challenge, that's a uh, matriarchal challenge, which is great in, in a different way with, you know, patriarchal, matriarchal society. Most of our societies are patriarchal. But um, I was thinking that if I did it, I don't want to bombard myself with too many list plays, but I would like to put it on like a future list of things to do. Um, if anybody would be interested and if it doesn't get too many comments, I might bring it up again later. But if anyone would be interested in seeing a not so very challenge, but that all the heirs are male. And I do find that sometimes it's easy that um, when your sons get pregnant, they're more likely to have female babies. So that might also be like a second part of the challenge. You know, we can have as many siblings as we want, but whether it's the first heir or like the fifth heir or fifth um, child in, it has to be a male. So I think that would be interesting because you would then have to get a partner um, to produce another heir. Like, um, I, I think her name is Simzab. If I'm saying it wrong again, I'll put it in to correct myself. But um, she, her, this current heir, um, she accidentally became pregnant in a cool way, actually. Uh, and I don't want to say it just in case you want to go watch it. I don't want to spoil it. Um, but you can also do that with a, you, you can't always do that, like, surprise pregnancy with a male sim so it adds in a second challenge of because the you have to be a normal lifespan so and there's a lot to this challenge so it's really t quick and time-based that's why it's like an intense challenge that a lot of people like um but then adding in that element of your male heir within a certain amount of time needs to find someone to be with in order to get the heir so it, I think it adds in an element of excitement, honestly. So let me let me know if you guys would be interested in that, and I'll throw it into my little list of future less plays that I want to do because I do want to do a 100 baby challenge. I'm currently doing a personal one. I'm not very far on mine, um, and I but I also think like everybody does a 100 baby challenge at some point. And usually it's one of the first left plays that people do. And that's why I wanted to do the older brother challenge on Twitch because I haven't really seen it. And it was, it's only been mentioned on that one forum that uh, I decided that I'm going to link it down below um, so that you have reference to it. And when I eventually, I'm trying to figure out when I'm going to upload the VOD onto here. Um, when I eventually do, I'll also, with every upload, I will link it in the description so that people know, like, the rules and stuff, uh, and to give the guy credit who made it, but, um, I, I want to do other kinds of challenges, 
or like twists on traditional challenges because um yeah i don't want i want to stand out i guess is what i'm trying to say but yeah let me know what you think about the not so very challenge and it needing to be only male heirs that's what i did sorry sidetrack uh what i'm gonna do today oh my hands getting tired uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm, like I said, uploading all the stuff for the Pokemon. And then I'm going to, um, while those things are uploading, I'm going to take pictures for Instagram. I had one comment, and I think I was already going to do this, but I'm glad I had someone comment and give me an opinion about the unboxings. And I'm going to do the November, December together in one Instagram reel, or not reel, carousel that's the word one instagram carousel so i'm taking those pictures and i'm going to test the emulator obviously see if that works then i'm going to um finish working on the older brother save like i said and then i need to make some pictures kind of i guess like advertising pictures i want to make um a picture stating that oh i'm streaming on twitch on thursday at whatever time i have it i think i have it on my calendar i'm gonna start at 10. um but yeah so i want to do that <laughs> i want i want to put those out early versus late like i did for the writing sprint i realized that i did it to to um, um too late yeah i don't know why i'm trying to think of a complicated word i did it i did it too late and i should have done it done it far in advance i should have done one like a day or two early and then just do a quick you know maybe instagram story being like hey remember i'm you know i'm live now and then maybe do a fleet <laughs> Uh, also saying that um, really quick that, oh, yeah, I'm live on YouTube for sprints. So I think that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and upload early on Wednesday. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Or like midday on Wednesday being like, hey, I'm going to be live on Twitch on Thursday. And then once I get everything turned on and I'm actually live, then I'll post something on Instagram story maybe Twitter fleet, I don't know, but definitely like do a Twitter post, just a real quick like, hey, I'm live, here's the the link to, to the Twitch. <laughs> so yeah, that's what um what I'm planning to do. Yeah. I totally broke off there. Uh, I'm still recovering from work, but I I want to get these done because so I, I don't think they're going to be too intense. I still have to like finish other things, but I don't think I'm in a mental headspace um, free from like work stuff yet to do that. I'll focus on that tomorrow. I also have the conference call, um, uh, like a co-working, co-worker conference call, freelance thing um, tomorrow. So... Uh, I can get a lot of like writing for the game stories and my regular stories and stuff done then. So, yep, I'll let you guys know right before the conference call or like during the once we break off to do um, individual work. Uh, maybe I'll do an update in the middle or something like that. But yeah, I'll update you guys then because I'm. I, this is gonna be the only check in for today, unless something happens like miraculously crazy, surprising. I, I won't be checking back in today because, yeah, my head is still halfway at work and a lot of things are happening. So, yeah. All right. I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey, guys. So it is um, the 12th. I don't know why I need to look at that. I should have known that. But... So it was January 12th, next day, um, I'm a doofus brain.
I'm, I'm actually in the co-working session. We've broken off to uh, work on our own. Um, I woke up late, a bit later than my alarm because I went to sleep late because my husband and I watched an episode of Ghost Adventures and um, I was tired. <laughs> so I uh, remembered and forgot at the exact same time that the new trailer for the Sims pack uh, was coming out. So I have watched everyone's reactions that I follow. Uh, so I've watched the trailer. Uh, the new uh, Sims pack, I'll put a picture of it or something here in the blog, is called Sims Stuff Pack Paranormal, Paranormal or the Paranormal Stuff Pack. Um, I think it's amazing. Now, I mentioned that I'm creating a new challenge that revolves the cults and paranormal. Uh, I don't think this is going to have that much um, influence on it. I was hoping it would just to like add more vibe. If it does, it might not be till the very end of the challenge. Um, but who knows? I mean, I'm still developing this challenge. I am playing it on my own in my own Let's Play to kind of just help me figure out what I want to do with this challenge. Um, so that will be great. I extremely love the little ghosts. I like the Sims ghosts that we have. But I love that we're having a new element of ghost. We ha we do have um, the English similar pointed us out, and so did Deligracy and James Turner. They didn't talk about it as much. The English similar talked about it more um, about uh, showing the examples that we have other ghosts in um, in the game. So we have spirit elementals. Which are really just regular like sim ghosts you just have to um connect to them a different way which i do like but it's at the end of the day they're exactly like normal um ghosts and sims then um with the new game pack of mount kogoremi i don't know if i'm saying it right but <clears throat> with the new one you have two different types of uh spirits that you can communicate with uh there and um someone i guess people were saying that they look really similar they kind of do but they kind of don't at the same time they're like um very um what's the word i'm thinking of very like not spiritual form but very like ghostly ish i don't know i want to think of the correct word if i can't think of it i'll but it's somewhere on the screen. But they're very, like, essence uh, kind of spirits where that happens. Now, remember, Sims 4 is supposed to be in a game that simulates life. That's the point. In the real world, we have different definitions of spirits whether it's different definitions based on your religion or just in general the different definitions of what we think there are in spirits. You know, we have people just generally label as ghosts, and that's what I feel like the Sims ghosts kind of are. <clears throat> then you have um, in very um, Asian cultures, and I do think this is where the spirit elementals come in for uh, island living, which is um influenced by like the islands hawaiian kind of essence where you have um ghosts or spirits that are ancestors then you also have like poltergeists and you have um <clears throat> uh actual like element spirits which kind of tie into like mythology the folklore where you have um what's the word i'm thinking of uh like nymphs, dryads. So, and each of those appear in a different way. Nymphs and dryads, yes, can take on a human form, but at the end of the day, they're very elemental spirits. So <clears throat> I love that what they're kind of doing is growing the dynamic of the paranormal world through spirits. So you have your regular ghost spirit, then you have like ancestors in the uh, island living elemental spirits, <clears throat> then you have more uh, 
L, um, essence spirits, which you get in Mount Kaburati, they're tied to a particular area. I feel like those are much more like the dryads kind of thing because they're tied to nature. Then you have these new ghosts, which I think they look to me more like actual spirits themselves, like poltergeists who are necessarily aren't going to take on a human form. They do have a form, but they're not going to necessarily take on a human form, but they can be just as disastrous as a regular ghost or just as um, cute and amazing as also our regular Sims ghosts. But this gives it more of a dynamic and then you don't necessarily feel that bad or you don't feel like they're just another sim. You have to communicate with them in a different way, much like <clears throat> much like in the real world, you would um, communicate or deal with spirits differently based off of what type of spirit they are. And when you look at how different uh, communities around the world deal with the paranormal and spiritual life, you get that and you see that. So I think that's really awesome that the Sims uh, gurus are initiating this because I think that will really enrich how the world itself functions reflecting real life because that does happen in real life. So I think it's great. And I just wanted <clears throat> to say my piece and my opinion, especially because I'm putting out some more Sims content. And then again, uh, this Thursday, which you guys will see later, because um, I'll post this on Friday, uh, that I'm going to start streaming uh, Sims for content there. So um, I wanted to just say something on that. Now, uh, what I'm going to do for the rest of the day, uh, we still have a um, session going on. I'm going to be working on some stuff with Pokemon. I got the emulator to work. I realized I was using the wrong emulator. I needed an emulator for the Nintendo DS also. So um, I found one for that, downloaded it, dealt with it, got it to function and work. So that's awesome. <clears throat> so now I'm just um, dealing with, um, I guess, some advertising. For that, I am trying to create a poll for um, Instagram <clears throat> and maybe something for Twitter, so that I want to I want to vote. I want people to I want people's opinion on what starter I should have. Uh, I tend to pick Fire Pokemon or Water Pokemon for my starters because those are the elements I like. Besides, like Ghost and dark, which are never starters. <clears throat> um, but I do think that the grass type in this uh, um, generation, in generation two, is extremely cute. So I'm torn between picking my normal fire because I know that the fire type is actually really good in this generation. Um, and most people find that that's the best one to have. But I also like <laughs> the like dinosaur-esque looking um, grass type Pokemon. So I'm a, I'm unsure what to pick. So I thought maybe I would let my followers pick for me. Now <clears throat> I might make this a running thing. So that every time I start a new generation, I might do a poll and be like, "What should I? What should I start with?" Um, unless you know. In the end, I get the final decision anyways, but I think this would be great. So um, here I'll be watching this afterwards and after I do the poll, because I'm going to be doing the video today later. Um, what uh, what you guys think about that? And if you think that that's a great idea, then definitely follow me. I wanted to put this up earlier, but yesterday, um, like I said, me and my husband watched some TV and we got really tired and I just didn't come back and finish it. So this might be a failed experiment, honestly, but we'll see what happens. Um, I have 12 hours once I get this done. <laughs> so because I probably won't film until like midnight. But um, yeah, let me know if you participated in the poll or if uh, you like this idea. And like I said, if you do, my 
links for my Instagram and my Twitter will be down below and you can follow me there. And when I occasionally put up polls for when I start a new Pokemon generation, then you'll be able to participate in what starter I get. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to finish setting up my world for the older brother challenge. Cause I need to do that. Cause I have to get it ready by Thursday. And then, um, if that's all done, what else is on my to-do list? Um, I'm going to do some newsletter stuff and probably, uh, some more writing for the older brother challenge background story. So yeah, that's, that's what that's going to be. Um, but that's it for now. So I need to like, get back to creating this picture for the Instagram story. Uh, yeah. All right. Thanks. Oh, let me know what you think about the stuff pack also down below. <clears throat> in the comments, this com this comment section is going to be crazy if you guys actually participate. I'm asking so many questions. Um, but let me know what you think about the sub pack, how it's going to impact your gameplay, if you play The Sims, or if you don't play The Sims, what do, what do you think about the game pack in general by your first response to it? I'll link the trailer for The Sims um, YouTube uh, down below too. Hey guys, so late entry for today. I feel like that's normal for Wednesdays. It's the 13th. Um, I'm starting up my computer. I'm trying to finish, or starting up the program. I'm trying to finish setting up the Older Brother Challenge Sim World um, for tomorrow's live stream. I'm pretty much almost done. I'm just aging up the brother. I wanted, I wanted this the brother to seem like he lived versus um like a normal challenge where you just create the sims and then they start there but i wanted him to seem like he had a life so i you know i last night i aged him into a child so i, I lived on short lifespan so that it would go quickly uh his toddlerhood um and then wrote down a couple of notes that I will incorporate into stories um, about Albert's early life before the challenge started. So I'm gonna, once my computer decides to um, open, I am going to be starting um, uh, his childhood and we'll run through school and he'll be kind of ideal because I'm like, mm, you know, his life is supposed to be perfect up to the point where his parents up to the point where his parents die slash disappear. <laughs> um, so he'll have, you know, good grades and he'll have, uh, he'll, I'm going to try and get through as much of his childhood aspiration as I can, being that it's on short lifespan. So we'll see how far I can get through that. But um, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, I haven't done any writing since then. I need to edit this vlog tomorrow before I do the live stream. <laughs> I also have to go to my parents tomorrow, so I'm going to try. Oh, my computer is freaking out. Uh, I have to do that because I want the video to post Friday morning. And then... I really need to film this Pokemon. <laughs> I um, picked my starter. I'm not going to say it here because I want it to be a surprise for when I um, post the video next week. And I, I think I'm changing my posting as, as long as I have Thursdays off. I will be posting Friday mornings. But this game, because I'm not going to have a live stream Thursday, and I've had a live stream last Thursday was on YouTube, the writing. This Thursday will be on Twitch, and then, the, not next Thursday, but Thursday after that will also be Twitch. So I'm thinking I'm going to start trying to have live streams every Thursday, if I can do that. But because this Thursday, coming up um, next week, I'll be with my dad and doing his treatments and stuff. I won't be able to do a live stream. So I'm thinking instead on that Thursday, I will upload the Pokemon game. So because of that, I'm thinking I'll do it Thursday instead of doing a video on Friday like I normally would do. 
um, just to kind of substitute the live stream. So yeah, I might do that, but it will be, it will be, it will post sometime next week and I'll talk about it on the next vlog because the next vlog will start next week. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Um, yeah, I better get going and do this work because I slept in today because I stayed up late <laughs> trying to get Albert to age up and uh, and get the happy toddler trait or the other one and I only got the happy toddler trait I couldn't get um in such a short time span I couldn't get the other um skills up high enough I think I had one that was four the rest were three yeah were three I just barely got the potty um skill in <laughs> like just barely so I need to go do that so that then I can either start editing this vlog or film the, the Pokemon. But uh, my husband and I have decided I can't stay up that late because I have to do work tomorrow. So um, here. <laughs> so because I really did not want to wake up this afternoon. I did not. Me and my husband slept in like two extra hours or something. And actually I slept in more because I was hoping to get up at noon. Which was really dumb because we uh, went to bed at like 7, which is like the equivalent of us going to bed at like 1 or 2 in the morning. So yeah, bad decisions were made. Bad decisions. Alright, I need to get to work. I will see you guys tomorrow and let you know what I did and I'll show you the stream. Hopefully I don't have any problems because I haven't super tested the connection of streaming Streamlabs with Twitch. So I have to get here early to experiment with that. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how late I am. Yay, me. Okay, bye. Hey, so I want to do a really quick update. I just got to my parents. It's uh, January 14th. And um, disaster happened last night. So I don't know why, because I hadn't used the computer all day. <clears throat> now that I think about it, though, it may have been because it needed to update, like, the computer itself. Um, the Sims was really glitchy and um, kept freezing on me. And then eventually it just crashed. And I thought I'd be okay. I got, I was like, fine, you know, I got to a point where it's okay. And I came back and I just started like if it had saved. It didn't. I went back to the family house after I did a couple more things that I needed to do. And nothing saved. Nothing had saved. So I was like, okay, let's let's just get to it was only like a couple days. I was like, okay, so let's get to where I was at. And then um uh, the baby, the younger sibling, aged up sooner than I thought because I keep getting him on a short lifespan. Excuse me. Um, and so I was like, okay, so I need to get the older brother to be a teen. So I did that because he only had like two more days till his actual birthday anyway. Then I realized it's spring and I'm supposed to start in winter. So I was like, okay, you know what, I'll just fast forward, just make sure no one dies, and, you know, do that. I was doing that. It took way too long. I, I, had a, I was supposed to be at my parents, like, three hours ago. And um, then my game crashed again. And when I turned it back on, this time I think it was literally just because it was hot because it had been on. And it still needed to update because when it crashed earlier I just turned it off as soon as I could um which even that was difficult uh it it hadn't I hadn't saved anything from my fast forward so I went back to the older brother's birthday so I was like you know what fine I'm done with this we'll just start when it is which is like in the middle of spring uh, and, and that'll just be it. We'll just start in spring. It won't be a perfect let's play. I was already going to fudge some things. So yeah, that's what's happening. 
Uh, the computer's off, of course. It updated, it turned itself off. Hopefully it will cool down and be fine. And I'll be able to do the live stream later today. I'm probably going to start late. But yeah, hopefully there's no glitches. Hopefully everything's fine. But we'll see what happens. I will update you guys on what happens. Um, and this vlog is probably going to be late because the game consumed my last two days. So I haven't edited anything. So yeah, I have to. I, I should have done this sooner. I should have figured out balance better. But this is good. This is good testing and good for me to figure out what do I need to do. Especially when I'm starting a new Let's Play. Um, to not make it complicated. Because that's what I did to myself. Okay, I need to go. Alright, bye. Hey, so still the same day. Well, technically it's the next day. But you know how I am. Okay, so it's still the same day. I um, just got off stream a little bit ago. I was on for about two hours and a little bit because I was struggling with turning off the, the stream because my computer was having issues. Um, the VOD will be up for 14 days and then I think when the VOD is done, so pretty much actually when I'm going to stream next, um, I will post the recording to youtube i recorded it myself but i also know that i can download youtube's version i mean twitch's version and post that so i'm i will decide which version i want to post i know that the twitter i mean twitter oh my gosh let's say everything but twitch the twitch version um if i did something like copy now that i played music this time uh I definitely have to look into that or not look, I have to download some uncopyrighted music. Um, it will save me from YouTube strikes, but we'll see what I do. I didn't do anything except on Sims and I didn't have the Sims play any music, nothing like that. So um, we'll see, see what happens with that, but I will post it to my YouTube, um, I'm still, my nails are, I've started picking up. I will decide if I want to do a edited version or a raw footage. There's a lot of dead space because my computer was being ridiculous. So I might just edit it to get rid of some of the dead space. But we'll see. I was talking during the dead space too. So it wasn't really dead space. I don't know. We'll decide. That's future me's problem. But yeah, I told you I'd give you an update of what's happening. But this is also the end of the vlog. Um, <clears throat> I I'm my I don't want to freak out my computer by trying to bring up the internet and tell you where I'm at on my novel. Um, at this point. <laughs> Because I did do the writing vlog last, or writing sprint last week, so I got some words in. Uh, I need to work on my stories for the games, and um, I'm hoping with this check I can publish my website, which means I need to get these stories done. <laughs> At least the vampire one. I need something to put up. Uh, I'm still wishing that someone will look at my super short story. That's more of like an intro. Well, actually, no, it's like a thousand. It's a little bit over a thousand words because it's like an intro and then like a diary-esque entry. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know. And I think I'm going to do the same with the Elder Brother Challenge. I'm going to do like a background entry. That one might be longer. So it might just be like a background entry and then the next one would be a diary entry. But for the vampire one, it's shorter. Um, so. Yeah, um, I did that. Obviously, this whole week I was attempting pretty much to just prep for the stream with the game. And the game was trying to stab me in the back. So learn the lessons. Don't make it harder for yourself, even though it seems like better content. But it's only for you. Yeah, I will need to get off this 
so I'm hungry. My husband's calling me. I need to clean my mouth because I took my medicine. So yeah, I'm, I'm going. I will be back in two weeks. This will be late because I'm not going to edit it today. Then I work for the next three days. Um, and then dad has his treatments. So actually I work half a day on Sunday. So I could edit it on Sunday and get it up on Monday. So it won't be up Friday. Um, but I'm going to, uh, after we eat, or he's doing some chore really quick and then we're going to eat. So I think while he does that, I will get up the Instagram pictures for the unboxing that are also late. Um, this is a theme. I'm just late, but I'm getting things done. They may be late. I think I can get them done, but I need more time. So, yeah. I'm also being kind to myself. I'm trying to do something. I am not going to overwhelm myself by pushing myself in the sense of deadlines. Because then I will just quit. So, we are still doing this. There's progress being made. And that's what I'm going to keep telling myself. I need to go. <laughs> I keep saying that. Alright. Um, I will see you in two weeks in another vlog. I will see you in two weeks on Twitch for another stream, hopefully. And um, next week will be a Pokemon game uh, recording, hopefully. And then in two weeks will be the scribbler unboxing whenever I get back. All right. So, um, yeah, I will see you at any of those possible times. Hope you enjoyed it to my usual bi-weekly vlogs. All right. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, remember, even if you don't have anything to say in the comments below, Leave a salute. Bye.